you and I are strapping on the stilettos. I know. And we are doing a dash for ovarian cancer research. I cannot wait for that. I've never worn heels before. This is a first it's for me. It's going to be fabulous. This segment is really going to make my morning. Chris is wearing heels. We all are actually going teal for the Stiletto Dash. We are joined now by Frida Week. She is the Hope for Heather founder. Hi, Frida. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. What a cool concept. We're running in stilettos, all to support ovarian cancer mm -hmm. research. Tell us all about it. Well, um, this year will be our third annual 5K run, 5K walk, and we decided to put a little fun in our day by adding a 100-yard stiletto dash. And you can don your heels, three-inch heel minimum, please no wedges. Uh, <laughs> Um, you can't and you can't tape your shoes on either. Uh, Kaylee's holding our uh, teal stilettos. Those are our first prize for the person who wins the dash, and those are by Poetic License, sponsored by Show Us. Can, can I confess something, Frida? Yes. I was talking to the ladies, and I said, "What what what makes those shoes?" grand prize worthy and I said look at them they're fabulous oh, they're mm -hmm. and I said oh of course yes right. I know yours are um, plain black but I, they still do, do fill the bell Chris I they're tight I, right. I, I, gentlemen over here I'm, I'm sorry I didn't get your name oh Tommy Tommy yeah. uh, first time in heels yeah first time and um, you know they're a little tight how, how do you, just, uh, just you look great the size. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they go good with Do my you have hair. more appreciation for the ladies who wear the nice heels that look good? I mean, I don't oh, look yeah. at the legs look so much better in the, in their, you know, in their shoes compared to mine, that's for sure. I love them. Now, I'm just wondering, Chris. Yes. All right, we're doing this for ovarian cancer research. Can you give us a little runway walk in your in your heels? Okay. <laughs> um, what do you think? I think ooh, uh, okay. Oh, I got to be careful. Little, let's put a little lift in it. Let's put a little pop in your side. How do you, is it, I mean, if you're in these all day, they gotta hurt. No? Buy, buy good shoes. Um, there are a lot of actual videos on YouTube on mm -hmm. how to walk in Yours high heels. Nice. So you yeah. can go on YouTube and get a tutorial on how to walk in high heels. Now, Frida, for the 5K run, Excuse 5K me? walk, do you, I mean, could we do the 5K walk in heels? Uh, if you want to walk 5K, which is about three miles in heels, that would oh be my. amazing. But you could really raise a lot of money for Absolute, this fantastic absolutely. cause by doing something like and that. And you can walk the 100-yard dash. Mm -hmm. The dash is however you want to do it. So go to your coworkers and tell them, please uh, support me. Give me five dollars. Give me ten dollars. And let's see this fabulous bracelet that you could also win by participating in this. Look how beautiful that is. Beautiful custom made piece. Um, will not be duplicated. So if you raise the most amount of money for the stiletto dash, you'll win this piece of jewelry. Frida, let's remind people why this is an important cause. I mean, how what a, how ovarian cancer impacts uh, women's lives. And, right. And one in 70 women will be diagnosed with ovarian cancer. There currently is no diagnostic test when you go for your yearly exam. There is no test to detect it, which means most often it is in stage 3 and stage 4, late stage 3 and stage 4, it is um, diagnosed, which leaves you your chance of even a five-year survival at um, great odds. So what we're trying to do, what our daughter's mission was, was to make women recognize the teal ribbon as much as they recognize the pink ribbon, realize the importance of this cancer. This is the most deadly gynecologist cancer for women is the fifth leading cause of cancer death among women. So we want women to know what this is all about. We want them, as Dr. Oz said, to know the warning signs which are bloating, abdominal pain, difficulty, um, eating, feeling full. Is there an age group where it's more susceptible for ladies? Uh, 45 is the median age, yeah. but um, we've seen cases as young as nine. Oh um, we have a, t uh, a young girl who um, has a huge team walking, running um, for us this year, and she was diagnosed at 23. So it doesn't discriminate, and you know, need to know the warning signs. And as Dr. Oz said, you need to say to your doctor, why isn't this ovarian cancer? Push the envelope, because most times it is misdiagnosed and uh, treated as something else. Now, you mentioned a team. Is there still time to create a team for Absolutely. this Absolutely. Online registration will be up until Thursday at getentered.com, mm -hmm. or you can uh, come in person. You can go to tealribbonrun.org and download and snail mail your and registration. And it's B-Y-O-S, bring your own stilettos? Bring your own stilettos. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that starts at 9 a.m. this Sunday. Chris, you've got the shoes. I think I have to shave my legs if I'm going to be. Well, my little black shoes, my little black dress. How about that? I think we should challenge the two of you to see who could raise the most money. Oh, you know, like You it. have expertise in fundraising. But anybody can fundraise. It's a lot easier than you think. Thank you so much for Thank, thank you, you all. Much. You all look fabulous in your stilettos. Yeah. Coming up next, Brian Miller stops by. Who knows if he's wearing heels? We'll have to find out. What's oh, if it's Tuesday, he's wearing heels. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs>